In this example, we have a PLT volume. Let's add a magma modifier, open the editor, right click, and create an output node with a color channel. Press Shift 1 to create a red color input. If we update the modifier, we'll see the red color in the viewport. Now let's press Shift 2 and Shift 3 to create green and blue colors and FB to create a function blend. Then we'll press Shift N to create a normal input and we'll use uh, the convert breakout operator to extract only the X component. And since it can be negative, we'll use AB for an absolute value. Let's introduce a logic switch operator. When it's true, it will be passing red, and when it's false, it will be passing the blend. Pressing 1 on uh, the keyboard will create an input with the value of 1. Switching to 0 will pass the blend of the two colors, and if we expose this integer, since it's connected to a logical switch, it will be exposed not as an integer spinner, but as a checkbox. Let's rename it to solid color. This will also rename the checkbox to solid color, and when we press it, it will pass the solid color, and when we uncheck it, it will be the blend. Let's try to switch between more than two colors. We'll change the switch to max and we'll increase the number of inputs to four. The new input two will be now set to a three color gradient. This is a black op which can mix three colors. We'll connect the output to the new input of the MUX and then we'll feed in the same control as for the blend in the first input and connect the red, green and blue colors into the other three inputs. You'll notice now that the exposed parameter is a list box. The name of the input appears as the title of the list and the names of the actual inputs of the MUX, the first, the second, and the third, which are named 0, 1, and 2, will be displayed in the list. Let's rename them all, and now we have a solid color as 0, blend two colors as 1, and three color gradient as 2. Selecting from the list, we'll switch the input to the corresponding value and also change the display in the viewport. Let's add another input to the MUX, rewire the existing color inputs, the three color gradient, the blend, and the solid color the second, third, and fourth inputs and free up the first input for the color channel. We'll name this input vertex color. This will update the list. But since the teapot that we have converted to particles doesn't actually have vertex colors right now, we'll see black everywhere. We'll add a vertex paint modifier and we'll use the scene lighting to assign colors per vertex. Then we'll hit the assign button and if we update the scene by moving the time slider, our particles will acquire the colors from the teapot and represent the scene lighting. Obviously, we can use our input exposed as a list to switch between all the four modes. Let's go and create a new scene light, a standard Omni light. We'll move it a little bit up and we'll select the teapot again and reassign the vertex colors by pressing the assign button. Once we update the viewport, our particles will acquire the lighting from the Omnilight. 